Ministry of Defence Secretary Brendan Nelson has announced plans to give school cadets weapons training. Examining the issue is our roving correspondent, Kim Ginjal. I have the musical taste of a 15-year-old youth. Hard to be 15 again, eh? Part of that magical, mystical world. And the government feels that the world would even be better if all 15-year-olds knew how to use a rifle properly. <laughs> this is Major Glenn Johnson. So it's a sad effect. Major, the government's claim that they're trying to foster a healthy interest in firearms. Is, is that how you see it? Well, we have to uh, remove the culture of fear. Yeah. There's um, a lot more to rifles than simply pulling the trigger. Yeah, sure. It's about respect for your weapon, due care, cleaning and maintenance and safety. Letting the safety catch off is lesson one. <laughs> so, it's a nice looking gun. It's not bad, yeah. Do you respect it? Do you feel that you have a healthy interest in that gun? What do you mean? Well, in a sun-carrying world where you feel alienated and driven to despair by violence and the video games you play and the movies you watch and the music you listen to, <laughs> I mean, would you feel pushed to use, you know, its destructive powers to wreak personal revenge on your enemies in a ruthless massacre before turning it on yourself in last-ditch cry for help? Well, of course not. I mean, it's a rifle, not a semi-automatic. <laughs> If we want a population that respect guns, then we have to have education. If, on the other hand, the government wants a well-armed, highly trained high school band of elite combat troops, then it may well backfire on them when those students start to defend their schools against people who want to take things away from them, like teachers, funding, special programs, music lessons. 